Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to talk about few basic uh, commands for troubleshooting. Uh, I'm planning to create a couple of videos on troubleshooting for AKS. So uh, let's start, uh, let's, let's learn something new today. All right, so the commands, let me talk about the commands a little bit. You have seen me running those commands already a couple of times in the previous videos, and you must be aware, but if you are not, if you're absolutely beginner, this, this will help you to uh, make your concept, your fundamentals strong when there is a need of troubleshooting, okay? So at the very first command that, uh, that will help us, the syntax would be like kubectl get, resource type and the resource name. For example, if you are running, if you need to find out uh, the information about a port, so it would be like kubectl get port, and then you can give the name of the particular port that you're looking for. Then we have the kubectl describe with the same syntax, kubectl describe resource type and resource name. For example, kubectl describe pod and the name of the pod, and it will give a detailed information regarding that pod. Similarly, we can, we can run kubectl events, uh, get events, kubectl logs. So these four commands, we are going to uh, dig around, explore a little bit, try understand, about these four commands, we'll try to learn a little more on these commands. So let me quickly share my screen. I hope you can see my screen now. And I have the same cluster that I have been working on uh, that you might have seen in the previous uh, video as well. So let me show you kubectl get nodes. I have those two nodes and that ADC cluster I have. And I have some pods running here, kubectl get pods, okay? So I would have all these pods running. Now, as I was saying, if I need to find out uh, something about this pod, I need to, uh, so what I need to do, for detail, we're gonna have kubectl describe, but we are not, running the detail here. We're just trying to get this pod. So it would be get pod. kubectl get is your basic command. Pod is your resource type. Then you need to give the pod name. So I'm copying it from above and I'm pasting it here. And it will give me that particular pod information, like the exact same information from here. If I could show you, if I could draw something, yeah the same information that we have here, we got it here, if you are troubleshooting a particular pod, okay? But now I do not have much information here, right? So what I'm gonna do? Well, I simply go ahead and run, I need to close this, kubec, uh, CDL get pods and this will uh, oh wide output wide. Now you see a lot information is coming in. Now it seems too much. So let me quickly grab only the information about that particular pod. I can do that as well. So it is giving me the same like name, ready, status, restart, age, IP node, nominated node, and readiness gates. A lot more information than running uh, get pods, right? Now, the extra column include the IP address. This is the IP address of your pod. Okay, if you remember, we we reign this AKS with Azure CNI. That's why uh, these IPs are coming directly from the AKS subnet. Node will give you the information about on which node this pod is running, okay? All right, then we have this uh, nominated node. Uh, a nominated node is only set when a higher priority pod 
preempts a lower priority pod. The nominated uh, node field would then be set on higher priority pod. It signifies the node that the higher priority pod will be scheduled once the lower priority pod has terminated gracefully. Then we have this readiness, readiness gates and readiness gates uh, is a way to introduce external system components as the readiness for pods. We'll cover all that in future as well, but for now we are learning hyphen O wide, which will give a lot more information than get pods, right? Okay, now let's quickly run the describe command, which will help us to dig a lot about a particular pod. kubectl get, uh, not the get now, we need to run the understand the describe, describe pod. This is the resource type. I copied the previous one, paste it and Now it is described. Well, these blocks came right where we wanted, but uh, let me erase that first. Okay, cool. Now let me grab, all right, cool. Come on. Okay, now when we, okay, is that so? Okay, all right. Now when we run describe pod, as I said, uh, it will give you a lot more information which will help you to uh, which will help you in troubleshooting okay now let me try to grab uh, your attention to a couple of things for example it will give you the node information it will give you the namespace information okay labels labels is a very important object in Kubernetes because it, it hooks up things like the backend parts for the service. It all taken care through labels. So this is uh, uh, this is like links between objects such as service to pod and deployment to replica set to pod. So if you see that traffic is not being routed to a pod from a service, this is the first thing you should check. That's how they recognize, service recognize the, the backend pods and replica set recognize uh, the deployment. So that's how it works. So that's the labels information you'll find here, the IP address for this particular uh pod then it is controlled by this replica set if this information is not there that means a replica set will go ahead and create the more pod and that's how you can realize any any uh deployment relies whether this pod is controlled by any replica set this is the container information right here all those images and and the ports that you are going to use okay uh, these dogs. So we have so, then this is the information about uh, uh, the request for CPU and memory that we covered in the previous video as well. When we're trying to troubleshoot one of the, uh, and on both the issues, we utilized this in the previous video. Anyways, and these are the events events uh, about these pod and you can get these event like this as well kubectl get events okay but now it's the events about all it's 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 the event about uh, let me show you kubectl get all it has all the information like what whatever is happening in last one hour i think yeah but now this is kubectl get all will give you the information of all the pod services deployment and replica set which are running get all but what i was trying to show you if we have kubectl uh, get events we can grab the particular pod events i copied the pod name previously now these are the events that you were also seeing when you ran the describe command okay and you can also do kubectl logs. 
it will give you uh, okay i just did a little mistake here let me correct it okay i think i i should remove these first uh that's creating a lot of yeah okay now i forgot to mention the type and name as i was explaining at the beginning so we can give the name of the pod it will give the log information of that particular pod you can see that's how we can get the logs of particular pod so well so in this video we learned some basic commands that will help us to troubleshoot and the syntax kubectl get resource type resource name kubectl describe resource type resource name kubectl get pod pod name hyphen o white for more information describe for detailed information kubectl get events for all the events which happened in last one hour uh i i'm not sure about the time as of now but i think it is one hour but we'll, we'll definitely look and uh, let you know in next video then we have kubectl logs kubectl get all so these are some basic commands that will help us to troubleshoot and we'll use these commands in the upcoming video to troubleshoot well thank you for watching and you have a good day bye, -bye.